Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a new podcast. I wanted to try doing a new series, something I can get in a little bit more frequently without having to do all of the video editing and to talk about subjects that are either uh, something that gets cut from the scripts a lot of time because it involves going on a tangent or maybe controversial opinions I have, meta-analysis of the game and, and things like that, less mainstream style videos. And today I want to talk about the economy and the free-to-play experience. So let's talk about the economy in Star Trek Online. How does it work? Who benefits? Who loses? And how you should spend your time in the game. This video is probably going to ruffle some feathers, but I don't care. I have a very strong philosophy about the free-to-play experience in this game, and it's a direct result of how the in-game economy works. Star Trek Online has three major currencies, Zen, Dilithium, and Energy Credits, or EC for short. Zen is the premium cash currency you get by spending real money. Dilithium is the premium currency you can earn in-game, but there is a cap on how much you can refine every day to keep the supply limited. Energy credits are also earnable in-game, but outside of a few cheap consumables, rare hangar pets and the like, it's virtually worthless as anything but a medium for transactions on the player exchange. Zen and Dilithium can be converted between each other freely using the Dilithium exchange, which gives free players a way to earn some cash currency and paying customers a way to bypass the daily refinement cap. This can be a good thing for free players who need some Zen to raise their EC cap or unlock their account bank, which is the only two things I used it for on my free-to-play account. Fleet leaders or people looking to upgrade their gear can buy a little dilithium to speed up the process. I have no problem with people using it in that way, as it seems to be the intended function. However, the demand for Zen is very high, and the supply of dilithium is even higher. This causes the conversion rate to be absolutely pathetic, and should discourage people from selling their dilithium, and they are doing so for an insultingly low equivalent of real-life cash. I think it's important to put into perspective just how much of a bad idea it is to sell your dilithium on the exchange for Zen unless you have no other choice, and I will be giving you another better choice later in the video. First, we need to take another look at EC since it's the currency that makes all the major transactions happen on the exchange. When people buy Zen with dilithium, often they're using it to buy keys, which they sell for EC to buy things they want. Unlike with Zen and Dilithium, once you convert your currency to EC, there's no going back. It's a one-way street. We're going to use the EC value of the lockbox keys as a baseline for determining value. Currently on PC, lockbox keys cost 125 Zen. However, you get a discount for buying them in 10 packs, and larger quantities of Zen usually result in bonus Zen being added to your account, so we're going to assume that you can get them for about 100 Zen. These keys go for about 9 million EC, give or take. There are many videos on YouTube telling you how you can earn a million EC in 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. That sounds amazing until you realize just how little 1 million EC is actually worth. These videos, which I want to stress are good videos, almost always involve doing Tour of the Galaxy. Using the trait from the Legendary Intrepid, I can get about 4 runs done in 1 hour that covers both the Alpha and Beta quadrants. That yields 900,000 EC per run, or 10% of the EC you get from selling just one key, or 10 cents. That makes each hour I spend doing Tour of the Galaxy worth 40 cents. Let that sink in. It doesn't take 15 minutes to complete Tour of the Galaxy, but you also have to factor in the time it takes to switch characters, and move to the starting point, and transfer the money into the account bank, and etc. That's still time you're spending. 40 cents an hour. Now let's get real here, that's not an hour of your time spent having fun. Tour of the Galaxy is tedious and boring. What about dilithium farming? After all, I have a dilithium farming guide on this channel, and that's also an activity that is boring and tedious. In my opinion, the main use for dilithium farming is buying Phoenix upgrades, fleet gear, rep gear, and hangar pets. Using it to buy Zen off the exchange is also a waste of your time, and frankly, your life. Even if I base my operations at Galanda, which is a great tip someone left on my dilithium farming video, it still takes me about two and a half minutes per character to queue up the DOF missions, do the Admiralty for the dilithium bonus pool, and start the next turn in. That yields 3,000 dilithium. The exchange on PC is almost always around 480 dilithium for one Zen. That means that, assuming I even had enough characters to do so, another limitation on Tour of the Galaxy, by the way, I would only be earning about 150 Zen per hour, 
or approximately $1.50 per hour. Better than EC farming to be sure, and dilithium has a lot of uses inside the game that have nothing to do with the player economy, which is why I do it. However, if you're farming dilithium solely for the purpose of selling it for zen, then you are wasting your life for a wage that would make children mining blood diamonds pity you. I can hear you crying back. What are free-to-play players supposed to do then? Well, I have some good f news for you. The cash shop and the player economy is completely optional. That's why in all of my free-to-play build videos I avoid all of those things. I try my best to show you that you don't need those things. Yes, those builds are a huge grind, but what MMO isn't a huge grind? At least you're doing that grinding by playing the game and having fun, earning rep marks for reputations, earning experience to fill out your specialization trees, and even in the case of dilithium farming, which is also optional, you're using it to upgrade your gear. It's a philosophy for playing the game that still delivers great results and ship builds that are capable of elite content. Every time you trade your time for in-game currency and use that currency to buy things from the player economy, you are converting your time into an unrewarding job of menu clicking for far, far less than minimum wage. And the only people who benefit are the ones spending the real money and buying your labor for pennies on the dollar. Don't sell it to them. If you can afford to spend money on the game, that's great. There are lots of fun things to buy, but if you can't, then just focus on the things that don't involve the cash shop in any way, including the player economy. Stay away from the exchange as much as possible. Don't sell your dilithium for zen unless you absolutely have to, and whatever you do, don't grind your life away unless you're having fun doing it. Hopefully this doesn't piss too many people off. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your time. I'm not trying to tell you what your time is worth or how you should have fun. I'm simply trying to get you to consider how little you're getting for your time if you're spending it grinding dilithium for zen, or grinding out EC to buy things from people who spent very little real money for it to put it on the exchange in the first place. There are other options, there are other ways to play the game. I have an entire series of free-to-play videos where I started a new account at the beginning of 2020, and I ended up parsing 100k after about four months not using anything from the exchange or the cash shop or anything like that. Since then, I've loosened those restrictions. I have done Tour of the Galaxy a little bit. I have done some uh, Zen uh, farming through the Dilithium Exchange to unlock my EC cap and my account bank, and I've gotten some free rewards from Cryptic. We've gotten event ships. I got Lobby from the Winter Event rerun and a Tier 5 coupon and all that stuff, and currently... That account is parsing over 200k, and I don't do that. I don't farm dilithium for Zen, and I don't do Tour of the Galaxy. I just don't do that. All right, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.